the next we're going to apply a rigid uh, cervical collar and these come in all different types they have some that are already made for uh, different sizes uh, extra small or no neck there's um, to uh, extra large uh, they have you know adult sizes pediatric sizes as well uh, this is an adjustable um, cervical splint um, and with this one um, uh, the first thing that we got to do just like the soft splint is we want to make sure that we uh, measure the size of the neck uh, with our fingers and then uh, on the back of the this collar here um, it'll also tell us you know at what level that we need to adjust our uh, cervical collar uh, with the lines on the inside uh, so on this one we're going to be applying it to someone who has a um, no neck and for this one uh, up again up here in the front it has these two little push pins um, we need to make sure those are the locking mechanisms so the first thing that we want to do is we want to unlock these uh, if we go here to the back uh, we notice down here we can see the little um, attachments there you even heard it um, disconnect so once those are disconnected uh, by pulling the chin part uh, we can adjust this up and down I said we're gonna uh, and here we can see where the it says uh, no neck and uh, short neck, regular neck, and tall neck. Okay, it's by just pulling that up again equally on both sides. Uh, once we have it where where we want it, we we're going to lock it on both sides. And then we want to take the cutout for the chin. Make sure that they again this is in a sitting position. You can also do this in a supine position if you had a suspected a spinal injury. And for this one, again, we'd want to make sure that their, their chin is, is snug. And um, again, this is going to a Velcro uh, around the back. So again, going over the shoulders. Again, the ideal thing here is you want to make sure that it, it is snug uh, in the front and in the back. Uh, with this one especially, you. The rigidness should help uh, prevent any any type of uh, neck movement. Um, again, with the so with this one, um, you know, if we didn't in real life, we wouldn't sus uh, suspect a spinal injury. But he should not be able to to move move his neck when he's um, rotation or um, flexion extension. Okay, and then we would obviously in a spinal board we would uh, further connect him to the backboard. Okay, so and this would stay on, the, on his neck until he got to the, the hospital for further assistance. Okay.